Okay, so I was talking about carbon dioxide equivalents. Exactly what does a carbon dioxide equivalent mean? <clears throat> well, you could be talking about carbon in terms of carbon dioxide equivalents, but quite often in life cycle assessment we're using it because we're looking at the impact of other greenhouse gases. And one of the more important of these greenhouse gases is methane. And methane can be produced from fossil resources, the natural gas we're very familiar with, or it can be produced by biological processes. So you have um, what's called anaerobic decay. So that's decay in the absence of oxygen. And uh, the organisms that do this very often produce methane. Uh, methane has got a different radiative forcing compared with carbon dioxide. And it depends on what time period you measure it over. But normally we report this in terms of what's called a global warming potential over 100 years. So that is the, the, fo the radiative forcing, the warming effect of methane compared with the the warming effect of carbon dioxide over a 100 year period. And if we compare these two gases, we find that methane has got a warming effect of about 25 times that of carbon dioxide. So if we had one kilogram of methane, that would be equivalent to 25 kilograms of carbon dioxide equivalents. 